Some fascinating breaking news in the world of biotech. What we're about to tell you is not from a science fiction movie. This is real life, and it involves so-called CRISPR technology and CRISPR stocks. Specifically, Intellia Therapeutics and Regeneron have announced a gene editing breakthrough. No wonder these stocks are popping. Look at Intellia, up 6.7 percent. Regeneron, better by two and a third percent. The first ever human study evaluating CRISPR-based gene editing therapy. The two companies were able to use the emerging CRISPR technology to edit or snip out DNA in babies to help avoid a serious illness later on in life. Enter 23andMe, one of the leading consumer genetic testing kit companies on the market and the only one that provides FDA-approved genetic health risk reports directly to consumers. Joining us now, one of the world's newest billionaires since her company despacked 23andMe CEO and co-founder Anne Wojcicki. Anne, this is incredible stuff, right? I mean, and if CRISPR technology can, can hopefully enable at some point on a grand scale editing out the genes that predispose people to diseases like Alzheimer's and diabetes, as I see it, 23andMe is sort of the first step in flagging people that they're at risk of these diseases in the first place. How do you view the CRISPR breakthroughs? I see two things. So first and foremost, I look at um, part of the mission of 23andMe is just understanding the genome. Like you, you can't edit unless you know what you want to edit. So first and foremost, like how do we actually going to understand the whole human genome? And then second is you got to empower people to actually get access to this information. So it's one of the things that we do do is we we hand over you know to our 11 million customers very valuable information about their genome. And some of it is absolutely going to be able to be applicable to, you know, some of these CRISPR therapies in the future. Let's talk about what your genetic kit, and we have it rolling right here on the screen, of the spe specific sort of predispositions or hereditary problems that people may be able to flag through your kits. And then what is the next step for you as the company and for the consumer who receives this information? What was so exciting when the human genome was first sequenced in 2003, we came out and we said, you know, the NIH said, you know, the, the human genome is going to transform how people are going to, um, you know, uh, uh, prevent, treat and, you know, manage all disease. And so what's so exciting now is that people have this opportunity to get this information and to understand what their risks are. And if you understand that you have a risk for a certain kind of condition, like heart disease or um, heart disease, heart disease or type two diabetes or macular degeneration, right, right. then you actually have an opportunity to prevent the disease. And what I think so much about is how much we would rather never have a disease than actually treat it successfully. So what I really think about empower people with true personalized care. Everyone talks about personalized medicine, but when you think about what is the foundation of personalized medicine, is it's your genetics. And you need to know what you are inherently at risk for in order to know how to like, actually prevent. Well, then to that end, and do you eventually see partnering with some type of CRISPR technology as you develop and grow this company? I absolutely I see CRISPR as an absolutely phenomenal tool. Um, Jennifer Doudna is somebody we, we've, um, she's a Breakthrough Prize winner, somebody that we see often. Um, you yes. know, she's obviously, she's one of the, the leaders and uh, Nobel Prize winner in CRISPR. Um, so we absolutely see this as a phenomenal tool that could be applied and could be a partner with my 23 therapeutics team. So absolutely something that stays on our radar. It's been two weeks since you guys uh, despacked and went public. How, how is that going? And, and when I look at somebody like you, because I've followed your company well before it ever even considered going public, you are both a founder and an operator. And, and listen, the valley is filled with people who are really good at one or another, but certainly not both. You've managed to scale both mountains at the same time, uh, being both, a, a, I guess you could call it a pioneer and then a settler. But how do you scale up and what's in the pipeline here? What's so exciting is, uh, is everything that's happened during this pandemic with the opportunities for getting people online on healthcare. So what I think about where we're going, my ultimate mission in starting this company was empowering people with information to live a healthier, longer life. 
And that is going to come from um, genetic information either being applied to the drug discovery world. So 23andMe Therapeutics has over 40 programs underway in collaboration with GSK, or potentially from applying your genetic information to helping you prevent. And so 23andMe, part of what we talked about in the SPAC process is specifically how can we more and more leverage the fact that our customers, 11 million customers, over 75% are already trying to take changes to the behavior. How do we do more to help them actually hit their goal of having a healthier life? So I think about the whole world that has exploded right now with online care, um, at-home testing. How do we help people more and more get access to all of that information and leverage their genetic information and apply it to their care? Well, it's brilliant, and, and we're watching it. And by the way, I'll tell you what's healthy for 23andMe is coming on Fox Business. You guys just hit session highs. So um, we'll be oh. watching, and, and Anne, thank you. <laughs> we'll see, we'll yeah. see you next time.